Most of our videos are about the uh, policy underwriting and the sales side of the insurance industry, but there's another very important side, which is the claim side. And a good insurer will, in addition to paying claims very quickly and, and assist the insured, the policyholder, will also spend a lot of time trying to prevent fraud because it keeps your policy premiums lower uh, and also deters uh, potential bad actors. And this is a, a great resource. Um, Barry Zalma has been a insurance fraud investigator for many, many years, and he publishes a newsletter, um, usually a couple times a month. And this is an interesting case where th there was a, a fraud claim by the insurer that really just boiled down to that the, it was a medical insurance, health insurance, that the um, services provider made no medical sense. Right, it wasn't that any one particular did something, uh, you know, specific, or that there was uh, no um, services offered. Sometimes body shops will bang up a car to give it more damage for a claim. Sometimes people in a home will create water damage where it didn't exist. This is where a medical network, a provider of medical services, hospitals, um, the healthcare provider provided or submitted bills for services rendered that the insurer is al is alleging that the entire patient population in a cookie-cutter manner that didn't make sense. It wasn't sp specifically for each uh, patient. And by doing this, they're saying it was fraud. It's an interesting type of case. It's not your normal type of insurance fraud. This is where they're saying the whole system was fraud just because they blanket provided too much or too similar um, services and healthcare services to patients. Um, you don't normally see cases like this. And what they're alleging is not that any one patient got too much. It was that just in general, they just provided more um, healthcare services than were, um, were, were appropriate in that case. And it doesn't even really help the patients because if they're getting uh, treatments that aren't warranted. Uh, it may actually be harmful or dangerous, allegedly. Uh, they may actually even uh, be under treatment for a longer period of time than they need to, which may you know, cause them financial harm. So in this case, Geico was the plaintiff. Geico said everything was improper, right? It's not saying just one thing. They looked at 450,000 invoices for 8,000 patients and they said it was fraudulent because everything was improper. The whole system was improper. So it's an interesting case. We don't normally see ones that have such a, a broad reach of uh, claims of fraud, but this is a good way to make sure you're dealing with a company that um, limits fraud and keeps your policy premiums down uh, by weeding out fraud. And then by doing that, they can pay legitimate claims faster because they don't have to worry about fraudulent claims clogging up the system and costing them too much money.